Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to use NumPy to fill array with specific values. Uh, NumPy provides functions as zeros, ones, and full for creating arrays containing zeros, ones, or a specified value. By default, zeros and ones create array containing float values. So let's see example. First, we are going to import NumPy as NP. Import NumPy as NP. And now we are going to create array NP dot zeros zero values this will be six and we are going to print our array to just save and uh, run this m is missing where pi okay and just need to run and here is our array with uh, six uh, zero values. Yeah. For a tuple of integers, this function return a multi-dimensional array with the specified dimensions. We can specify array element type with the zeros and one functions and a data type such as over here we will create a multi dimensional array np with ones and here we are going to pass in a number of rows and a number of columns and we are also passing the type of the values we have in our array. So we are creating an uh, array of two rows, five columns of in type values. And I'm just going to print over here, print. And here we have our array of either two rows and five columns. The arrays returned by full uh, contains elements with the second argument value and type. So let's create another one and also print our array. So we are going to pass into print function np dot full uh, with three rows and four columns and we are going to fill uh, with a 20 and the data type will be integer because this number is integer save and run oh we're missing one over here This one and now we can run and now we get a array with uh, three rows and four columns filled with uh, 20 we can also use numpy's array function to create integer ranges we can do something like this np np dot arrange range and up to 10 mm -hmm. and print 
in our floating array. And here is our resulting array. This one over here. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, Awesome Code. Keep supporting me and thank you for watching.